Good morning, once again, I am Edwin Tea from the Philippine Coast Guard. And together with the Bureau of Quarantine, they are mandated to collect the health declaration card or the yellow form that was given to you. Kindly bring them out now, the yellow form. The IATF mandates that all returning overseas Filipinos and foreign nationals coming to the Philippines must undergo a mandatory quarantine period. And on the sixth day of your quarantine, the doctor should be conducted on your assigned quarantine facility, and you will remain quarantined until the results are released. Several hotels here in Metro Manila were transformed into quarantine facilities with strict IATF protocols that were imposed to prevent you from going out of your room unless if it is extremely necessary or an emergency. There will be officers from the Philippine Coast Guard who will guide you and ensure that the facilities are strictly enforced. So today we're making the um, Korean barbecue. I hope it comes out nice. Wow. What's wow? Super tasty. Wow! this is Alice Dixon welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel I am going to be talking to you about my experience ng ating ng aking pagbalik ng Pilipinas well nasa states pa po ako and tomorrow ang biyahe ko long haul from JFK to Manila um medyo kinakabahan po ako hindi ako magsisinungaling sa inyo uh, seryoso po ang pandemic at ang um, pagkalat ng virus ngayon, lalo na sa Pilipinas. Nagkaroon tayo ng um, dalawang linggong lockdown uh, and currently nasa MECQ yung uh, bansa natin. So, ang um, isang bagay na kinakatakot ko is that ang mandate ng Pilipinas ay hindi katulad po sa US na kung san uh, kinakailangan na mag 72 hours swab test prior to boarding your flight. Wala pong ganun sa ating uh, pag-uwi sa Pilipinas kaya I'm actually quite um, concerned and very worried na baka yung mga katabi ko ay may dalang COVID or positive po sila. Kaya din po ako nagpa-vaccinate However, hindi po yun nagpo-protect sa aking anak. So, hindi lang po uh, vlog ito about uh, traveling back to the Philippines during COVID, but it's also about how I'm bringing back home my newborn during um, this very scary time. And uh, hindi lang po yun, pero mag-isa din po ako, wala po akong kasama, uh, kundi ang anak ko. So how, so what it's like to kind of juggle that. So kung wala naman po kayong anak, I'm hoping that you'll be able to get some tips also on how to just travel, um, travel home or travel to the Philippines uh, at this time. Now, if you have a child, then you know, even better because then you'll also be able to find out what I did or what I'm going to do, what I did wrong, or what I did right. Sana did right uh, sa, pag, sa aming pag-uwi. Panoorin niyo po ito. Sana may matutunan kayo. <laughs> 